spending. We turn our attention now to AIG. The taxpayer bailout recipient AIG is awarding multi-million dollar bonuses to top executives. And tonight, the president is vowing to put a stop to it. As Sally Kidd reports, the ailing insurance giant has so far received more than $170 billion in federal rescue money. There are howls of protest here in Washington that AIG is using taxpayer dollars to, quote, reward failure. Oh, the outrage. This is absolutely appalling. From Capitol Hill. The only thing free they may deserve is a free lunch and a free room in the Bastille. To the White House. How do they justify this outrage to the taxpayers who are keeping the company afloat. President Obama says AIG acted with recklessness and greed. Executive bonuses, he says, are out of the question. In a letter to Treasury Secretary Timothy Geithner, AIG's CEO says given the company's current situation, he finds it distasteful and difficult to go forward with the bonuses, but that the company has a contractual obligation to do so or face lawsuits. President Obama says he wants to put a stop to it. And pursue every single legal avenue to block these bonuses and make the American taxpayers whole. Some analysts say for all the tough talk, there's not much that can be done about it. They're governed by British contract law, and cutting the contracts would actually be more expensive than going ahead and paying the, the bonuses. And others say the Obama administration is all talk and no action. What I'd like to know is where is the criminal investigation, where are the indictments, and where are the people going to jail? New York Attorney General Andrew Cuomo says his office is open an investigation into whether these bonuses are fraudulent under state law.